Stepping away from fast-paced Formula One, Daniel Ricciardo reflects on the past. The romanticism of the land of his forefathers, Sicily. It's unique, you know, it's, it's, it stays the way it is and uh, it, it's traditional. So for sure I'll show my dad lots of photos and I'm sure he'll relate and uh, he'll get more excited than me because this is, this is his era. As well as his family ties, Ricardo has been further enticed by horsepower too. Namely the 400 HP of an Alfa Romeo T33. I've never driven a car, you know, quite like it. So, I mean, I expect something completely different. You know, I don't expect to, to get in it and feel comfortable immediately. I don't know, I imagine lots of vibrations through the steering wheel. You know, the clutch, things like this, I imagine quite stiff and the gears will crunch a bit. This though is not just any eight litre cylinder racing car. This is the very same Alfa Romeo once driven hard by Dr. Helmut Marco as he created history here in 1972. This is the famous Targo Florio course that was part of the World Sports Car Championship. Yeah, obviously it was a, a much different time to now, you know, the safety and everything, but as you said, to just survive was already a, a big achievement. Even probably just hearing the car, hearing the scream, the roar, um, I'm sure it'll give me goosebumps and then uh, yeah, next time I see Helmut, I'll, uh, I'll probably <laughs> take my hat off to him. Ricardo is granted special permission to drive part of this 72-kilometre road circuit, where Marco still holds the course record of 33 minutes, 41 seconds, at an average speed of 206 kilometres per hour. Then, as now, fans line the roadside course, particularly attracted by their visitor with Italian heritage. All of them, you know, ah, you know, you'll win world champion one day. I'm like, thank you, thank you. And they say, but with Ferrari, with Ferrari. So, you know, they're Italian, but uh, no, here they, they love the car. They, I think they were really excited to see it again on, uh, on the streets where, where they had the Targa Florio. Italy and motorsports is a happy marriage, but what Italian traits fire Ricardo's engine? You know, the passion, the passion I have for, for what I do. Um, and even, to be honest, even for food, I have a lot of passion. You know, I love, I love good food. This is, is the Italian in me coming out. This passion drove Daniel to three Grand Prix wins in 2014. But he reveals that career progression has seen sacrifices back in Australia. You know, you leave home, it's a big step, but then it's the little things, you know, like you miss your best friend's 18th birthday or your sister's birthday, or you look on the internet and you see your friends are at a party and they're all together having a good time and staying focused and disciplined during during all that was uh, was the biggest biggest sacrifice after a happy day behind the wheel he leaves sicily with thoughts for his grandfather that once lived here i would like to say uh hey you know i went racing around the streets where where you grew up i passed your house drifting sideways and i left uh <laughs> i left some rubber <laughs> just outside your front door <laughs>